hey what's going on and i'm back with another video another short one i just want to give some light to some of the names or one of the names i've been dropping in quite a few videos and i know not many people might be aware of who this person is and that's the guy to the right hand side who is neville goddard essentially who is he right who is this guy that i keep talking about and who's the guy on the left abdullah the ethiopian mystic so essentially neville goddard he's a guy from barbados he's an author and a mystic and essentially he wrote on the bible and esotericism and all types of things he's got a lot of books that i've probably read about five of them already really good stuff really powerful things but i just want to get to the point of what i'm saying because it leads into the story that i want to tell where i used what he did to get what i wanted and i'll tell that at the end so stick around if you want to hear that anyways so basically it was about 1933 or something like that and Neville was a dancer and he had zero money absolutely nothing no one was hiring dancers at the time and he's from Barbados that's where he was born and so he told his friend Abdullah he said hey I would really love to go to Barbados um coming up whenever in the next the next time he's able to go he really wishes he could go and abdullah literally told him and he said hey you are in barbados and he kind of he didn't understand what he was saying and every time they spoke he would say it would be so cool if i could get to barbados i'm paraphrasing and he would say how can you get there if you are already there and so that's what he did he in the beginning he didn't get it but when he went to bed at night what he would do is instead of thinking that he was in new york cuz that's where they were he would think that he was in barbados and if he would face new york it would be in that certain direction and he did that for about a month and nothing happened and then he went to abdullah again and he said hey you know if i don't make the next ship because there weren't any planes or something around that time that's what he said that that you could just fly out with if he doesn't get the next ship he's not going to be able to go and abdullah just looked at him and said why would you need to get a ship when you are already there you know he just he kept putting it forward even slammed the door in his face because that's just the type of guy he was as neville said and he went back into that assumption he went back into it and about 2 weeks later he got a letter under his door and it was from his brother and his brother had sent him $50 and that was and he had spoken to the steam company of the ship and he was going to be able to be a passenger on there and he had $50 to spend freely his brother was going to take care of everything else the 50 was to actually spend if he wanted some clothes cuz he said it's, it's about it was back then it was like $3 for a pair of shoes you could get like a full suit essentially and so he goes back to Abdullah but when he went to the steam company and he told them they said yes it's fine you can come on board but this the only place we have open is storage once they stop at some place someone's going to get off and then you can take their seat first class to Barbados and so he went to Abdullah and he said again wow it worked i'm going to be going to Barbados um except i won't be going first class i'm going in storage but it worked and Abdullah just looked at him again and says how can you go <laughs> to Barbados you are in barbados and you went there first class and on the day of when he actually went to the boat they told him one of the passengers isn't going to make it so he has a first class seat all the way to barbados and so that was like that's what started the law of assumption to him assuming that it's already done and staying within that 
wish fulfilled, how you would feel if you already had it. And so how I used it, here's my story, <clears throat> was that I had just kind of started my YouTube channel and I wasn't getting a lot of views and stuff, obviously, because I'd just begun. And I probably had about 30 YouTube shorts out. And, and this was 2022, beginning of 2022. And I had all these shorts out, but you know, they weren't getting a lot of views and things like that. So I had this party that I was going to go to at this one restaurant in two weeks from the time that I started this. And every night before I went to bed, I got into a relaxed state. I basically a state akin to sleep, as Neville would say. And I just played the small scene over and over in my head which was people congratulating me on how well my YouTube channel is doing. And I just had this small scene, and what I did was to anchor me to it, was I remember myself, I was sitting at, at like a chair, at like one of these bar chairs. I could feel the wood. Then I had a beer in my hand. I could feel how cold it was and how the condensation outside was wet and how my hand was getting wet. I could smell the smoke. Someone was smoking near to me. I could taste the beer. I could see the sight. And I could hear the ambiance of being at this restaurant. And by doing so, I was able to really put myself into that reality. And then I felt good about how people were coming up to me and saying, Ah, oh, Mikey, congratulations. Wow, you've done so well. And this is the biggest thing that really kind of gets to me is that there was someone who basically wasn't a part of the friend group of the people I was going to see at the restaurant but for some reason it was my other friend but for some reason I saw him at the place because I really wanted to impress him because me and him had basically spoke about these ideas prior so in my visions it was always like you know, if he was able to say, wow, man, this well done, I would feel really good because it shows I've come a long way from where I was before. And what happened was he was like one of the people in my vision congratulating me. Wow, man, well done. This is insane. So two weeks passes. I'm still doing my videos every day. So just before I, I get an Uber and I leave, I, I uploaded a video. And so I go out, I go to this restaurant, I'm sitting there, I'm having a good time talking to everyone, talking to people. Groups of people are still arriving at the place. And I see this group of people walk in, and it's one of my other friends. And right next to him is my friend <laughs> that I had seen in my vision. And I was like, wait, what? Like, he doesn't know the guy who... My friend came from overseas, so that's why we all went to go see him. But he doesn't know him at all. So it was basically down a line of about three people that he somehow knew that linked all the way to my friend. And he was there. And I just, first of all, I just smiled like, this is kind of weird. But anyway, so later on, we busy talk, me and him are busy talking, and I say, um, Oh, yeah, I'm busy with my YouTube and stuff. And I'm trying to explain to him what I'm doing and all these things. And I was like, look, yeah, it's better if I just show you. So I take out my phone and we're both looking at the very same time. And the video I just posted three hours ago had hit 10,000 views. Way more than anything else I'd ever posted up to that point. And we both saw this together and... We were like, what? And he's like, wow. And he literally congratulated me and said, wow, dude, well done. It was the whole thing played out exactly as I saw it. So that's why it's such a, it's such a beautiful thing to actually be able to do that and actually see it work in your life. So that's just the story. And this is a bit of the background on Neville and the law of assumption and how you can use it and how I used it, and it actually works, and I continue to use it every day, so 
as always, if you liked the video, give it a like if it resonated with you. Share it with someone who might need to see this and subscribe for more videos. My other videos are up here and here and subscribe over here. <laughs> Peace.